What's up, everybody? Happy Saturday. Welcome to another episode of Small Business Saturday. I've got Nick with me here, and we're talking about local service ads and PPC and how they work together. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. All right, everybody, welcome to another episode. We're excited to talk with you today about local service ads and PPC. So Nick, we get a lot of questions when people come into us. A lot of times they're, they have local service ads, but they're not working for them. Yeah. And what is our recommendation in terms of what they should do until we get that call volume up on LSAs? Yeah, so there's a ton that they can do right off the bat. Obviously, reviews are going to come into play big, getting verified reviews, making sure it's customers you already did work for, reaching out to them, requesting a review, and having them talk about their services. And then on top of that, responding to reviews, making sure you're going after the right locations, getting really targeted with these service areas so that you're not spreading yourself too thin. So a couple things right off the bat that you can take advantage of. And the booking rate. Booking rate is going to be huge. Thank you, Jill. Yeah. So we want to make sure your booking rate's above 90%, even with jobs you guys aren't booking. So if they don't actually end up getting the job, they went with a competitor, they were price shopping around, that's still a lead you want to communicate to Google and say, hey, we want more leads like this. We want to make sure you send us more stuff like this. So market books, so you can contribute to that 80%, 90% booking rate, and you're just going to show Google, hey, we want more leads like this. We're interacting with the dashboard. These people are booking with us and we're getting these jobs. Awesome. That's exactly what people need to be doing for local service ads. Now, a lot of times when people do come to us, they're wondering, my local service ads are not working, but I need calls right now. So a lot of times we let them know that you need to do PPC with local service ads combined. Um, a lot of times what we do is it's a, it's a range based on what industry you're in, whether you're a lawyer or a doctor or you're in heating and cooling. Typically what we do is we supplement the call volume with PPC campaigns until the local service ads are at the call volume that we want them to be at. Yeah. And a lot of times that's how you feel that lift in call volume until we can put the full budget into local service ads because ultimately local service ads are the lowest cost per lead on the internet. We want to be able to utilize that program first, um, but we have to get the booking rate up first and foremost. Yeah, absolutely right. And definitely run those campaigns, spread yourself out with a few different campaigns on Google ads, get some initial traffic coming into the site. And then once your LSAs start taking off, that's when you can, you know, downplay the budget on the Google ads side, really start building that traffic, building that trust with Google. It always comes back to Google trusting you with their users. That's all they care about is their users. They don't care about us. They want to make sure they're sending people to a qualified, you know, qualified dashboard that's going to respond to them on a daily hourly basis. Absolutely. So if you have local service ads, but they're not performing for you, give us a call. We'd love to speak with you and potentially help you with call volume to supplement PPC until your local service ads are where we need them to be. All right, Nick, any last thoughts? Yeah, just to reiterate what you said, um, give us a call. If you guys do have any questions, if your LSAs are not where you want them to be, that's what we're here for. Jill and I are more than happy to jump on a call, walk through your dashboard, show you how you can win online, and take you guys to the next level. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and have a wonderful Saturday. See you guys.